Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Okay, so th this, <laughs> this movie that we're watching today, this is a movie that has been requested before, but this is a movie that I had to like rush record it so like at the time of recording this this reaction i don't even know when this movie is going to post like this video but i had to watch this because the good sis david recorded a reaction to this and i really want to watch his reaction so i had to get this recording out of the way because i have not seen this movie so today we are getting into 2009's the house of the devil directed by ty west now ty west directed and wrote x which I reacted to. I loved that movie. It was, <laughs> that movie was bonkers. But everybody has been talking about this movie. Like, in when X came out, everybody was talking about, oh, this is Ty West's new movie, this is Ty West's new movie. And I was like, who the f is Ty West? And they're like, the house of the devil, the house of the devil. And I'm like, I don't know what that is, but there's no time like the present to watch this movie because I want to watch <laughs> Zavid's reaction. And I also want to watch this movie. And you guys have been requesting that I watch this, so. Yeah, here we are. So I'm looking at the cast list and it looks like Jocelyn Donahue. I don't recognize the name, but I like looked at her Wikipedia page and she looks like she, uh, apparently she's the mom from Dr. Sleep, like Abra's mom, so. Hey queen. And I don't recognize any of the other names except obviously D Wallace and we love D Wallace. <laughs> Anyways, before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button so you can get notifications for when I upload a new video. Also feel free to check me out on social media. I have both Instagram and I have Twitter and you can check out my Patreon. You'll get access to full length movie reactions, full length audio commentaries, polls to help me pick what I watch next and more cool stuff. I'm assuming this movie is a slasher, but given the name, I don't know. Who knows? Let's get into 2009's The House of the Devil. During the 1980s, over 70% of American adults believed in the existence of abusive satanic cults. Another 30% rationalized the lack of evidence due to government cover-ups. The following is based on true, unexplained events. Abusive satanic cults as opposed to what? Is, is there another type of uh, satanic cult that I'm unaware of? <laughs> I'm curious to see how much, like, like how similar in style this is going to be to X. Because there's like such a big time difference between them. Because X, or, uh, this is 2009. And then X is obviously 12, 13 years later. What is math? I can tell you like it. I love it. It's perfect. Oh, great. Really is such a neat place. Aw, Dee Wallace. I love her. Welcome to your new home. $300 for a one bedroom apart. What the? That's suspicious. Oh God, who died in it? I'll agree to waive all the deposit stuff. You just give me the first month's down, we'll call it a day, all right? Really? That would be incredible. Uh, no ma'am, $300 and she's waiving the fucking security deposit. There is, this is not a warning sign that I don't know what it is. Don't do it. Oh no, oh. Oh, I like the style of this. But yeah, she's too happy. She's gonna end up dying or just being traumatized for life. This is like, uh, this opening, it's, it's like the style of it is very interesting. I'm getting like 80s and 90s and, uh, and like there's a little bit of 70s flair thrown in there too. The zooms and the soundtrack. <sighs> I love it. Ty West, I might have to like really dive into the rest of his filmography. I don't know how many other horror movies he did, but like the style, yes. Uh-oh, sock on the door, someone's getting laid. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Heather, come on, it's morning. Yeah, that's why I can't have roommates, absolutely not. Babysitter needed. Uh, I don't know about all that. That looks a little sketch. No, sis, literally, there's not even a description of what the kid is. Like, is it a boy? Is it a girl? Is, is he 10? Is he 50? Is he possessed? No. Oh, girl. It's gonna be so bad. I'm calling in regards to the babysitter flyer. You can reach me at 815-1920. Thank you. Oh, God, she's gonna die, isn't she? Oh no, Ooh, that just gave me goosebumps. No, 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 no. Girl, don't answer that fucking phone. Hello? Samantha. Hello. Hello, Samantha. You just left me a message about the babysitting position. 
How did you get this number? Please excuse the urgency, but if you are still interested, I, I would like to meet you. No, no, this is all warning signs. What is this, honey? Is this her dorm room that she is sharing with somebody? Oh no. Ugh. Look how fucking gross that is. Absolutely not. Oh no. Oh no. And she keeps you out of the room while she's fucking. Oh no. She would have been tossed out the fucking room so fast. <laughs> Oh no, this looks like this looks like an episode of Hoarders. Who lives like that? I want details. It's not too big. Oh, is it carpet or hardwood? Hardwood. Good. Carpet's filth. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Given her hair, what year is this supposed to take place? Or is this like one of those weird movies that like there there is no like year that you're actually supposed to know of? That it can just exist whenever. Weird and annoying the way that guy stood you up today. I know. Yeah, that is weird because she stood there outside waiting for the guy to show up and he never did. Which is weird considering like he called her back immediately after she left on the voicemail. Although it'd be cool to get something easy and under the table. That's what was so good about the babysitter thing. Yeah, but it could have been awful. The kid could be from hell. You don't even like kids anyway. I like her. <laughs> She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. You know what you should do? OnlyFans? You should go around campus and rip down all of the other posters he put up, and then nobody else calls him. How do you like them apples? No, that sounds like a good way to get murdered. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Yeah. Someone called for you. Who? I don't know. Some guy. I left his number on your desk. It better not be the babysitter guy, because how the hell did he get her dorm number? I'm calling in regards to the babysitter flyer. You can reach me at 815-1920. Thank you. Uh, hello, this is Samantha Hughes again. I got a message that you called. Um, Samantha? Yes? Oh, thank goodness you called. Why doesn't he ever just answer the damn phone when she calls the first time? I must be honest, I'm in dire need of someone. You mean tonight? Yes, it's very important. Ask why. Okay, I think I can do it. Thank goodness. You're saving me, and I promise to make this as painless for you as possible. Uh, no, no. Oh, damn it. Kind of liked her, and she's totally gonna die now. In the arms of the angel. I'm so sick of hearing about that stupid eclipse. It's like all anybody can ever talk about. All right, so there's something with the eclipse and the fact that this, uh, the babysitter guy needs it to happen tonight. He said she'd, he'd be home shortly after midnight. There's something going on. There's a connection. Do you want me to come with you? I don't have to see Mark tonight. He hates me anyway. Yeah, you should go with her. Save her life. I feel a little weird, you know, just dropping you out here, like in the middle of Jabib. I don't know what that word means, what she said, but she is correct. <laughs> Where did you get these? I'm sorry, you were upset and I felt bad. Megan! Oh, she shouldn't have done that. Jesus, Megan. Whoever put those up is gonna end up killing her now. Oh no. Please let me stay with you. I will be so good. I won't touch anything or eat their food. I won't take your money. I just, I'll be there. I'm curious as to why she's like so hard pressed to stay with her. Not that I think it's like a bad decision, but I don't know. It's a little weird. Cause like she was so hard pressed to take down all the flyers thus ensuring that the friend is the one that got the call. Maybe she's in on it. Uh, that is not correct. No, Annie's in this fucking like mansion giant ass house out in the middle of nowhere. No man. I'm afraid to see who's about to answer this damn door. Oh no, who, who is it? What? That motherfucker is huge. Oh, he looks familiar, but like, I can't place him. But he looks like he's like seven feet tall. I can't tell you how much a relief it'll be to get this night behind us. You know, we only arrived in town very recently and we really haven't had a moment to spare. You know, what with the eclipse and all. No, warning sign after warning sign after warning sign. They need to leave now. Did you know both of you live in one of the most perfect places on earth to get a clearer view of it tonight? Samantha, can I word with you in the other room, please? Why does she only want to talk with one of them? I'm only paying one person for their time. Megan's not staying. She's just my ride. Oh, good. No, you shouldn't have told him that? Yeah, fuck. We actually don't have a child. <laughs> ah! 
We have a child, but he's grown. And it's this job tonight is not for our child, but for my wife's mother. See, th you would have known this had there actually been like information on the fucking flyer. That should have been your first clue. I've been putting advertisements out for the past two weeks to get someone for tonight, but nobody responds to elderly assistance or home care anymore. So I thought maybe babysitter would get better response. Oh, so he specifically made the flyer to just say babysitter because other people were like, I'm not taking care of this old lady that you're being very weird and quiet and secretive about. Oh my God, is it Pearl? Ooh. I'm sorry, I appreciate your situation. I do. Okay, what would it take? How many zeros can you add to that check? I'm traumatized for life and I need to be compensated. Period. The game plan was, if they're weird, we leave. This is beyond weird. It's mental. You know, they lied to you. They lied to you. I know. They're liars. Okay, I know you're right. She is right. It's $400. No, $400 is not worth your f***ing life. Listen to your friend. Did you ever think it is too good to be true? Yes! Megan. Please, I need the money. That is, she told you in the beginning of the movie that you were never gonna be homeless, that if you needed somebody that she can call her dad. She's telling you right now that there is something fucking weird going on and you're not listening. All over $400? Step your pussy up, honey. <laughs> What is she doing? Why is she stopped? She's not even off the property. What is she doing? You can't drive and wait for the cigarette lighter to, to heat up? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, she scared the crap out of me. Absolutely, I would have shit myself. No, I knew something was gonna fucking happen and I got all comfortable and forgot about it. Are you not the babysitter? No, I'm not the babysitter. My friend. <laughs> What? <sighs> he just f***ing shot her in the head. He just shot her in the head. I... He just f***ing shot... The, oh, well, I mean, to be fair, why did she stop? Like, wh for what? You can't drive and light your cig... Oh. He just shot her in the head. And here's a little more. There's a number in the refrigerator for a pizza place. Mom is asleep, and as I said before, there's really no need for concern. Uh, she's old, but she's actually quite able-bodied. Oh no, oh no. An old lady who's really able-bodied. I know where this is heading. Oh, f Again, there's a number in the fridge for pizza. I already said that, didn't I? Yeah, you did. He looks like, like the tall man from Phantasm. Hey, queen. Yeah, I don't know what the f that was all about but she's she's officially crossed into dumb territory four hundred dollars and this she's ignoring all of these signs no 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 she's dumb are you here for mother yes yes i am wonderful do you just have other random strange young college student girls in your house for any other reason what the f well probably <laughs> I just can't get used to this cold weather. I love the heat. We're from the desert, you know. Wait, she can't get used to the cold weather? She's from the desert. Are they demons? Are they demons? The house of the devil, are they demons? Beauty like you. I remember when I was your age. Your mother must worry herself silly. What the fuck is that? So you can back up a little bit. Ew. Uh, why do people just think like it's okay to touch other people that you don't know? My mother is very private, so don't be put off by it. It's just her way. Don't worry. I warned her. Uh, this is like When a Stranger Calls. I, I don't actually know if I've ever seen the original When a Stranger Calls, but like the new, like the remake. Have you checked the children? Why would you go into a house to babysit? And I don't care if they give you an excuse like, the children are sick. Like, don't wake them up because we just happened to sleep. Or, this old lady, she's private. My mother, she's private. Don't disturb her. Why would you get hired under these circumstances where they're like, we can't find anybody else to do this. I'm willing to pay you $400. $400. You haven't even verified that this person literally exists. What's not clicking? Ooh, I hope she's calling international. If she's gonna die, she might as well leave them fuckers with a high phone bill. 7714 East Beaumont. East Beaumont, very cool. What can I get for you? Extra anchovies? Anchovies, anchovies, you're so delicious. I love you more than all the other fishes. I mean, I wouldn't even have spent that money ordering the pizza. They got a pantry in the back. I wouldn't have spent any of that money and I would just ate their shit. Look, and now she's curious and she's gonna go investigate this old lady. I mean, she should have done that in the first place, but now, now it's too late. Now it's too late.
Ooh, that's kind of a cool shot. It's really interesting. Like the last like five minutes of this movie has literally been spent on like her walking into each room, turning the light on, going like this, looking around to see what's in the room and then dipping out. So it's kind of surprising given it's only an hour and a half long movie, like that they're dedicating that much of a runtime. Not that it's a lot, but you know what I mean? Like that much of a, uh, those dedicated sections. Oh, uh, shut up when you think about fuck it. Up. Tonight's big eclipse is now well underway. The best time to see this fascinating event will be just about the stroke of midnight. That's when you'll be able to see the moon itself actually disappear. Okay, so they said that they would be back just after midnight, and he said that it would be, uh, the moon would be completely obscured just before midnight. So whatever is gonna uh, go down during the eclipse, probably not good. <coughs> no. Okay, okay, thank God. I was being like, girl, don't be dumb. Cause you're already kind of dumb, but don't be that dumb. And she wasn't, so good. No, honey, I know that you're feeling the music, but you're about to be dancing around in this old crickety ass house when this old lady is supposed to be sleeping. You shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> As I said. No! Stop exploring! Stop. Stop. Stop! Oh, well, it's just fur coats, I guess. I thought she said these were in the basement. Oh, oh, yeah, she did. She did. Well, that's another fucking lie you caught them in. You just need to leave and dip. Just start running. No, no, because that mother is outside with the gun still. By the way, I'm still not recovered from that. I was not expecting that. Trauma. 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 The trauma. Who are they? Can you check it? Bobo. No, uh, uh, see, see, I told you. What did I say? If she doesn't fucking put two and two together at this point. Yeah, does that look like a Volvo to you? Or does that look like a date rape van? Yep, yep. But if the friend is not answering, you need to call the police. They clearly have a working phone line. Let the local police department deal with whatever uh, hellish onslaught is about to occur. What was that? No, I, I get you're concerned, but dying with your pooter out is not the way you want to go. Hello? Mrs. Allman? I don't think there is a Mrs. Allman, to be honest. <laughs> like, serious question, though. Like, I get that this is a horror movie, and obviously, you know, characters in horror movies, they don't always follow the most, you know, correct life paths and make the, le the best decisions that they should. But, like, would you, regardless of how broke you were, would you really be ignoring all of these signs? Absolutely not. Not me. Certainly not I. Like, come on. What the f***? That's a full-on family. G you need to fucking run. Run, bitch! These motherfuckers are devil worshippers. My whole life just flashed before my eyes. I gotta get me a life. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you just scared the shit out of me. Keep the change. Well, <laughs> no, 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 no. You should be like, can you give me a ride out of here? That's not the pizza man, is it? Nope, that's probably the fucker that shot the friend. Yep, yep, yep. It's crazy motherfucker that shot the friend. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Bitch, if you don't call the police or at least just start fucking running, then I don't know what to tell you. Then you deserve every single thing that is about to happen to you because you are ignoring like billboards worth of fucking warning signs. I'm, you know what? I'm trying to stay positive, but this bitch is getting on my nerves. She's fine. No, no, do not relax. Call the police. Oh my God, she's gonna die. I'm sorry. I thought I hung up before I connected. Do you have an emergency? Yes. No, everything's yeah. fine. I just, I didn't mean to call. Oh God. Are you stupid or something? Because she answered the phone when they called back that they're not gonna send a patrol car to investigate. <laughs> that pizza looks nasty as Don't, oh, you probably shouldn't even eat that. Also, where did the serial killer outside get the pizza from did he make it himself is that why it looks gross is this like part of their thing that they just deliver fake pizza to people yes hey 
I just watched that movie. And that girl was dumb too. Wait a minute, because she's making a face like there's something wrong with the pizza. And earlier when they were at the pizza shop, the friend said that the pizza tasted really weird today. What the f is that all about? See, I don't know what year it is, but I wouldn't be fucking drinking out of like tap water. No, but I don't, I think this is in like the seventies or the eighties. So they may not have Brita filters. <laughs> what is that noise? Is this bitch about to go and explore where the fucking pipe sounds are coming from? You are absolutely right. She is like, I, I, I fucking idiot. I've never been this curious about shit before. See, like, it's difficult for me because I like her. Like, I like the actress. But, she, like, this character is fucking dumb. Like, she's dumb. But I will say this. If this is supposed to take place in, like, the 70s, all the horror movies which have taught me how to survive haven't really been out at this point to teach her how to survive. So we'll give her a little bit of a pass. But I will say that even taking that out of it, she is ignoring a lot of non-horror movie specific warning signs. Okay, she handled herself very, very poorly. Yeah, she's just like far too fucking curious about noises. What? What? Oh, absolutely not. What the f what is the, what in the grudge is that? Get the f out. Ugh. Why? 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 What, what is this, an attic? An attic? She's dumb. She's dumb. No, 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 no. I tried, I tried. I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt. I don't understand why you're still fucking exploring shit. Like, 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 what was the reason? For what? For why? What was the reason? What do you expect to find at this point other than bodies and death? No. No. Have you considered not doing that? Like, the whole fucking electrical system of the house just shorted. What the hell are we gonna do now? Is there something coming up the stairs? Oh, there's already something in that room. Well, of course, there's something in that room. Oh, no. Oh, no. F that. You need to run. Why is she all... Was there something in the pizza? I don't want to be the one to say I told you so. Ugh, yeah, yeah. I told you that pizza looked disgusting. But, like, the pizza at the pizza parlor that they were at earlier, like, tasted gross apparently, too. But she didn't seem to be drugged. So I don't know what that was all about. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Oh, no. Ugh. See, now you're on a fucking altar about to be sacrificed to Satan. Ooh. Yeah, it, it's bad for her. She's not doing well. Uh. Oh my God. Uh, they didn't even leave. They didn't even leave. What the fuck is that? What is that? What was that? What is that? <laughs> oh God. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, no, mm, mm, no. Was the $400 worth it? Don't joke about that. Oh God, ew. Where's all that blood even coming from? My ass. No, no, you cannot joke about that. Yeah, that's not funny. Oh, is that the blood that she just like cut open from her wrist? That's nasty. <laughs> yeah, you, girl, you better fuck that thing up. Kick it, punch it, stab it. Little ugly bitch. Oh, she stabbed one of them. I don't know what she stabbed him with, but she stabbed one of them. Oh, damn, she gouged his eye out. Good for you, girl. Good for you. But that blood has already been ingested by you, so you're probably f Bitch, turn around and stab his other eye. Why is she running up the stairs? Why did she just go up the stairs instead of going out the front fucking door? She's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. Stab him. <laughs> oh, he shot her. Mm. All right. <laughs> What'd she get? Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha, snaps for her. <laughs> get him. What is that thing that was like trying to put blood down her throat? It kind of looked like one of them things from uh, The Descent, but with hair. <laughs> Stab her too. You got the knife, sis. Just 
get her. No matter what you do, it won't stop. It can't be stopped. It's gonna work in spite of you, you little bitch. Yeah, I kind of figured she was probably fucked now that she swallowed all that blood. Talk to me. Please. Is this like the Pearl origin story? Oh. There you go, there you go. You stabbed her ass too. Yes. Yes, payback. Payback. It's so funny. It's so funny to me. Well, now you only got two people left. You got the old guy and you got whatever that demon thing is, was downstairs. There you go. Thank God. Now, if you don't head out the front fucking door. What are these flashes about? What, the, what what have they done to her? It was bad for her. Samantha, wait! I mean, at this point, she's doing the right thing by running away. I mean, it's probably too late given the whole blood ingestion ritual thing that she just went through, but. It was really bad for her. Samantha, listen to me. Just shoot him. Just speak with me. No, bitch, just shoot him. Just shoot him. Why not? Like, like you've literally taken out two other people within the last five minutes. Why not? They're calling to you. Just listen to them. Who? Who is calling her? Hello? Is it Lionel Richie? Who's calling? No, no. Oh, dear. That's not good. I feel the need to say the F word now. Well, I mean, to be honest, to be honest, as soon as she drank that blood, I was like, well, this is probably going to be what you're going to have to do. Because that seems to be the only thing that undoubtedly was going to stop whatever their plans. Astronomers everywhere are still baffled by how to explain the bizarre event. It seems that the speed at which the moon exited the Earth's shadow was faster than believed possible. Is this all because she shot herself? So, like, everything was tied to that. Okay. I still don't understand what the f*** is happening. I'm nodding like I understand, but I'm not so sure I do. And there's like 30 seconds of this movie left, but... There's no fuck. She lived? She blew half her fucking head off. How is she alive? But also, that's not good if she's still alive. Don't worry, you're gonna be just fine. Both of you. What? Both of you? She's pregnant? Oh my god, is she pregnant with the devil? Is it like Damien? Oh, no. Please. <laughs> Okay, so that was The House of the Devil by Ty West. Did I like the movie? Yes, I mean, I found it thoroughly entertaining. I thought that it had pretty good tension, but I think what I liked more so than anything was the 70s, 80s aesthetic. I liked that there was a lot of, not tension. Well, I mean, there was tension, but like, it felt like it was taking its time. It didn't provide in any way, shape or form any sort of explanation as to what the f going on. I don't know what exactly to say because it's 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 weird because it's like I did enjoy the film but I also am like what the f even just happened? Like I don't like okay so she's like pregnant with some sort of baby and there was something with the eclipse. I don't understand what was going on with the eclipse. I don't understand what was going on with that demon in the house. I don't understand why she's pregnant. I uh, Your guess is as good as mine. Performances Great. Did it have any shocking moments? Yes. The friend getting her head blown off was shocking. Trauma. I like the score. I like the artistic direction of the film, the, the 70s and 80s aesthetic. I like that. But if I would compare this to X. I was very confused as to why everyone was like claiming it was like one of the greatest like additions to the slasher genre when I'm like they didn't add anything new. The plot of X is fairly simple and I would say that this film is also fairly simple but like X was a film that when I finished it and still to this because I've watched X a couple more times since then I will say that X despite the fact that it leaves a lot of unanswered questions but I know like I haven't watched the preview for Pearl, but I know that there's a prequel that's going to explain more, so I'm fine with that. But as a film, X, I don't leave the film going, I feel flustered because there's more questions that haven't been answered. This film, I feel like attempted to do the, like the same thing. Well, obviously this one came first, but like there was too many questions that were left unanswered. Like I feel like that thing worked with X. So maybe he just perfected, like maybe that's like his thing that he likes to do. With this, I just feel like you ended the movie five minutes after things actually started happening. And assume, like the fact that this came out in 2009, I'm assuming there's not a sequel or a prequel to it. So overall, did I enjoy the film? Was it a pleasant, well not pleasant, but like was it an enjoyable watch? 
Yes. Was the main character dumber than shit? Yeah. Yeah. She was, she was a little bit of a dumb dumb. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this movie down in the comments. And I will see you for the next one.